As we follow the spread of COVID-19 cases, assisted living facilities are one of the areas being watched most closely. Duval County ranks among the highest counties in the state for cases inside assisted living facilities. Baker, Bradford and Clay also rank highly on the list. News for Jackson reporter Scott Johnson is joining us live in Clay County where three more cases were reported to the State Department of Health over the weekend in those assisted living facilities. Scott. That's right, Joy. I was going through these Department of Health numbers, which are online. You can find them publicly. Duval still high, 28 reported cases in assisted living facilities. But when you get past all the big counties like Dade, Broward and Duval, look at Clay, Baker, Bradford. They're still pretty high up for Florida. Statewide, the number of reported cases in residents or staff of long-term care facilities in Florida roughly doubled over the weekend. Looking at the top dozen counties in Florida for cases, Duval dropped from the second highest number on Friday to fourth on Monday. And look at the three other regional counties. As of Monday, Clay has 10 cases, the eighth highest county in the state, right above Baker and Bradford, who have nine and eight respectively, and have a much smaller population base. One reason Baker remains high relative to other counties in the state is several positive cases have been reported at a McClenny facility. News for Jax has been bringing you updates as to what is happening at the McClenny Nursing and Rehab Center. But many facilities in the area have not had a single positive case like Canterfield of Clay County, where they have stopped any visitors from coming inside, and that has paid off. They've had zero cases. The residents are uh, they're doing pretty well. They're pretty happy. Um, it is difficult not having you know loved ones to be able to actually come in and visit with them. I spoke with the manager of Canterfield by phone in Middleburg. The only option for family visits is through a window, but they are prepared. Is there a plan in place for what what will occur in the facility if there is a test positive? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, what we would do if there is a test positive, we would have to co go down what they call a lockdown situation um, where we could not have anybody in or out of the building and we would have to just shelter in place here with my staff that has um, agreed to stay here with me during that time. Well, I mentioned Duval, Clay, Baker and Bradford, no other counties in Northeast Florida on the list had more than one confirmed case in an assisted living facility. We are live in Clay County, Scott Johnson, Channel 4, The Local Station.